Fort McMurray, Alberta, the heart of Canada's traditional energy industry, is a diverse community of hardworking people. For those who live here, the oil sands provides a healthy source of income that people build their lives on. Climate change and greenhouse gas emissions have taken center stage as a global challenge. Due to the remoteness of the community and economic focus on petroleum development, many people are not fully aware of the opportunities that alternative energy presents. At Westwood, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics learning has been the driving force behind our environmental projects. I find it very important to have a nutritious and fulfilling breakfast and I enjoy eating strawberries, oranges, and bananas throughout the day. I've always enjoyed a bowl of multigrain cereal and fresh fruit. In a house full of kids, our fridge favorite is milk. Orange juice is my favorite drink because it's super healthy for you, giving you tons of vitamin C to help your body fight off infection. My favorite food is steak. I love a good triple A grade steak. One of my favorite foods are bananas. They're full of fiber, potassium, and most importantly, they're delicious. This is our school greenhouse. Where we've grown food for our farm to table program. It has heating powered by solar and wind. Students plant seeds to locally grow produce over the spring and summer, eliminating the need to import them. This spring we planted the weekend whole filet beans and her little whole beans. Cauliflower. Squash. Peppers. Beets. Tomato seeds from the International Space Station. And this fall we transformed our harvest into some tasty and nutritious dishes. Students are building a net zero aquaponics project in the classroom using rooftop solar panels, a living wall, and switch to grow. We are trying to grow produce sustainably year round while improving air quality. So this is basically the water component of our aquaponic project. Uh, so far, we have been facing some technical difficulties as we have been having difficulty sustaining life for duckweed in particular, so we are unable to house fish yet, but we're experimenting with some new types of plants. Our new goal is to take our knowledge of sustainability and share it with students in grade 4 through 9. We'll host weekend STEM camps to educate younger students about alternative energy solutions and provide them with an environment that fosters critical thinking and teamwork. Attendees will examine real-time output data from our rooftop solar panels. Students will apply critical thinking to solve multiple challenges, like experimenting to find the optimal angle to place a solar panel. Participants will use wireless sensors and tablets to collect and monitor data about their environment. We are working today for a better tomorrow. Would you?